Hey y'all, it's me the KJ. Today we're doing a read with me. So today we're reading this chapter, but we're gonna be reading the first chapter, and then in the next video I'm gonna be reading the second chapter. Today we're reading this book called Sarah Plain and Tall. So we finna get started. The Ten Pale with Ashes. Caleb spoke up. It wasn't a question, really. You don't sing anymore, he said. He said it's he said it harshly. Not because he meant to, but because he had been waiting and thinking of it for a long time. Why he asked more gently, slowly Papa straightened up. There was a long silence. And the dogs looked up, wondering at it. I've forgotten the old song, said Papa, quietly. He sat down, but maybe there's a way to remember them. He looked up at us. How, asked Caleb. Papa leaned back in the chair. I've placed in this in as retirement. As, you know what I'm saying, y'all. I know how to say it. I just don't talk right, y'all. Advertisement. Y'all know what I said. I can't talk to y'all. People laugh at the way I talk to y'all. In the newspaper for help. You meant a housekeeper, I asked. Caleb and I looked at each other and burst out laughing, remembering, remembering Hilly, our old housekeeper. She was round and slow. Ooh! So they call her fat, <laughs> and it says slow. She snored in a high whistle at night, like a tea kettle, and let the fire go out. No, said Papa slowly. Not a housekeeper, he paused, a wife. Caleb stared at Papa, a wife? You mean mother? Nick slid his face onto Papa's lap. Oh, I forgot. Ain't Nick the dog? Yeah, Nick is the dog. Yeah. And Papa stroked his ears. Do that mean like rub or touch? Anyways. Maggie had came from Tennessee. Her hair was the color of our dear Mr. Jacob. I am Sarah Winston from Maine as you will see. For my letter, I am answering your. It, her hair was the color of our turnips, and she laughed. Y'all, turnips is relish. Did I say that right? Like reddish, like some vegetable, y'all. Cause I looked it up, y'all. So, yeah. Papa reached into his pocket and unfolded a letter written on white paper, and I had received an answer. Papa read to us. Dear Mr. Jacob, I am Sarah. Papa reached into his pocket and unfolded a letter written on white paper, and I had received an answer Papa read to us. Dear Mr. Jacob, I am Sarah. Dear Mr. Jacob, I am Sarah Winston. From Maine, as you will see from my letter, I am answering your it, your advertisement. I have never been to I have never been married though. I have been asked. I live with a older brother William who is about to be married. His wife to be is younger. I have always loved to live by the sea, but at this time, I feel a move and necessary. And the truth is the sea is far, is far east. I can go. My choice, as you can see, is limited. This should be not talk, taken as a insult. I am strong, I work hard, I am willing to travel, but I am not mid matter if you should still care to write i would be interested in, interested in your children and about where you live and you very truly yours 
Sarah Isabella Winston. P.S. Do you have options on cats? I have one. No one spoke when Papa finished the letter. No one spoke when Papa finished the letter. He kept looking at his hands, reading it over to himself. Finally, I turned my head and bit to sneak a look at Caleb. He was smiling. I smiled too. One thing I said in the quiet, a bus that asked Papa looking up. I put my arm around Caleb. Ask her if she sings, I said. Okay, y'all, uh, this chapter two now. So I read all of chapter one, y'all. I messed up on a few words. I was stuttering sometimes. Like, I was thinking I was in a class, but I feel like by the time I'm done reading this whole chapter book, because I think it's like 12 or 13 chapters in it, I'm going to be improving with my reading, and I want to keep on improving. I don't care if people laugh at me and say it's certain stuff I can't read, because at the end of the day, at least I'm improving and I'm trying. I'm going to keep on improving and trying, y'all, because I'm going to stay away from technology a lot, and I'm going to be outside reading my books. I'm going to keep on reading and reading and practicing and practicing until I know I'm good enough to read. So anyways, stay tuned for next chapter. Give me a big thumbs up, like, comment, subscribe. Remember, haters go ahead. So push them to the side. See ya.